Hi and welcome to another video. Um, it's been a while, I do apologise. I've had a big project going on in the van and it's something I've been meaning to do for quite a long time. Should have done it in the summer is what I should have done, but I've waited till autumn for the weather to be absolutely terrible. So it's made it all, all the more impossible. But um, what I've done is I've bought myself a welder and I decided I'm going to weld the van because man, this thing is rusty. It's rustier than I ever thought it was. So things kind of developed and it took me a lot longer than expected because the van is due for an MOT. Um, I've got to actually put it in for it yet. It's going to be next week now. But yeah, so I've kind of like when I started digging, the uh, the rust was uh, quite bad, but I've sorted it now. I'm now doing this video after I've done it. So let's go back and let's see how I got on and see what I did. I didn't video everything because it's such a mucky job and I just didn't have time to be pressing the record button all the time, but I've recorded as much as I could and um, let's see what happened. So yeah, let's get to the video. So this is the welder that I bought and it is a Draper Stormforce. Now this is a gasless MIG welder so it uses flux core wire. I got this because it's, it was fairly cheap to be honest with you, pretty reasonable, just over £100 for this. Um, a lot of welders are like this in this kind of category. Um, so I'll see how we get on with this one and I'll let you know. So this is the damage that we're looking at. This started off as a quite a small hole and as you can see has developed into quite the monster. Um, yeah, so I, I clean it all out and I get back to good metal and I um, rust proof everything on the inside there and I make myself a little paper template for the part that I need. Um, there's no actual part you can buy for this online. You have to make this by yourself for the back portion. And yeah, this is a bit of sheet metal from B&Q. <laughs> So I keep checking this every single time I do a bend and I can see I can now chop down the edge piece so it fits inside that bottom part of the sill. Now one thing I've got to do is I've got to make a bend in the metal because there's like a bit of a radius bend and I feel like this spade is probably going to do it. I actually use something different in the end, just like a little a thinner pole. But you get the idea, bend, bending it around something round and you end up with this shape. Like I say, these back ones, you don't seem to be able to buy these, you have to manufacture these yourself. Um, you can get parts for the sills a bit on the front side. Um, but yeah, so that's fitting really nicely and it's time to actually start welding. Okay, I don't know if anyone eagle-eyed spotted these three little holes here. Now, I'd actually started welding with a different piece of metal and I was having absolutely no success with this first weld of that blue draper one. So I decided to cut my losses, it was running way too hot and I thought I'm going to have to buy another welder. So that's what I did, sent the old one back and I bought this one. So this is a Clark welder and it actually goes down to 35 amps, the other one went, only went down to 50. Um, so I've got this other one, I've bought myself a dimmable helmet and this one is working way better. So next up is some more distressing rust scenes, so get ready for this. Look at that, it's gross. So this is towards the front of the vehicle on the same side, on the same sill. Um, as you can see, it just, it was worse than I thought. Again, I just kept tapping holes and <laughs> gosh, it got absolutely horrendous. So yeah, I set about making more bits of metal and I've now got all these bits I've got to put on the van. So um, yeah, so my parts list is growing, but you know, these were a bit easier to make the simpler bends. And um, yeah, so everything gets a coating of the um, zinc primer. So this is a weld through primer. First thing I do before I actually start properly welding, by the way, is I remove the negative terminal off the battery because apparently this is a pretty good thing to do because you're using the, the vehicle chassis as your where the current goes for the welder. And here we go, I've started welding. So um, my first few spot welds are on. I'm doing some plug welds at the bottom there. And you just join up the dots and keep welding. As you can see here, I've managed to actually weld all the way along. So it's looking really nice now. Um, I do fill in those holes later on as well, so don't worry about that. Everything gets completed. And yeah, I grind things back. The plug welds are now completely filled in, as you can see there. And the whole thing is look, it's starting to come together now, so I'm really happy. I've 
got the first few welds in on this one and everything's starting to feel really nice and secure. Um, like I say, I've been using quite a lot of plug welding, which is where you drill a hole and then you weld through the little hole. Um, so there you go, a bit more welding's done there. I just keep trying to advance it and uh, do it best I can. So here's what they look like before. It's a complete rusty horror show and now I've painted them all and I think they look pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the results. Uh, you know, I'm a complete amateur. Uh, this is the first time ever welding and I think this has actually come out better than I expected. So that's all you can ask for really. So as you can see, the progress is coming along quite nicely with the welding. Um, I've got the art, the sills pretty much done now, but there's a reason why I'm kind of doing all this and getting the welder and sort of learning how to do it is because the ultimate goal, which is phase two, which is to actually do the arches. So, uh, I mean, this is quite a costly thing to do. I mean, the sills are cost enough, but the arches really do cost quite a lot to get welded in and painted. But um, this is kind of my aim for doing this welding is to see if I can actually do the arches. So I've bought some arches already because I, I kind of got them delivered with a bunch of other stuff from Bongo Spares again. Um, the kind of standard ones that they don't actually fit the van properly. You've got to modify them. I'm going to wait for the weather to be really nice. I might do them next year now because it's just a bit nicer to work outside when it's a bit warmer. So uh, a bit more light in the day as well. So on this build, I've got to um, do a piece of exterior welding. So I'm kind of building up to that point now and you'll see me now. Next thing I do is actually do the last piece of welding, which is an actual outside part on the, on the outside of the sill. So let's see how we get on. As you can see, my arches are looking pretty rusty. But this bit here, as you'll see, this is the external part of the rust that I've had to sort out. And this is another one that just grew. As you can see, look at the size of that. It's absolutely huge. So I've cut all the uh, the rusty material out and I keep going. There's actually more rust. And that went through to the other side of the sill. So that all rotted away. I've actually <laughs> replaced this side of the sill as well. So again, it just leads on, which is why I can imagine welding builds just get bigger and bigger as you go. But, you know, it's coming together. I'm building up the arches slowly. I mean, not the arches, I mean the sill. So I'm putting fresh metal in and welding it all in and getting it as good as I can. So this is the bit for the outside. Again, I've already manufactured this, kind of fabricated it, should I say. And I'm just being really super cautious about how I weld this in because it's going to be the external, the first external piece that you're going to see. So I'm measuring 4,000 times just to try and get it right. That's the welding done. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, I'm starting to work my way along there, putting spot welds all the way across and then the plug welds at the bottom. And this is just a case of filling in the gaps of, of where you do your spot welds and eventually we get an entire seam all the way across. I keep going and then eventually I grind it back and this is actually looking pretty good. I do a few more welds because I can see a few little um, gaps in there. But generally, I'm really happy and this is it. I've kind of like done a basic bit of filling and a bit of a spray job. Another thing I did was I actually replaced all the um, the brake shoes and the brake discs ready for the MOT. I thought, why not? I've never changed them before. And that wasn't too bad a job. Yeah, I've taken the run for the MOT now and it's uh, it's come back and I've got a pass. Yay! It all worked out pretty well. I'm really super happy with that. So, um, yeah, they've got no advisories, which is a complete shock to me. So, um yeah, it looks like the welding went well enough for the uh, MOT. So I am really super happy with that. So all the work that I've done and all the money I've spent on the, on the equipment has actually paid off. Next thing for the van really is, I suppose you know, in terms of welding is those arches. And um, so watch out for that video if you're interested in maybe doing it yourself, but it is, you know, it's quite an involved task, but if you kind of like, kind of like doing that kind of stuff, then yeah, it'd be worth watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.